I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But Stevie... How's my star director? Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping <sighs> action continues unabated. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? No. Mm. Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, uh, ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the barrage of lights. America today. They call this a cold war, but it's hotter than hell. Mark my words, any day now you're sitting in school passing notes and talking about the prom when suddenly you look out the window and there are Russian paratroopers dropping in to take over. What can you do? Run into the woods with your friends? Call yourselves the Wolverines? Put twigs in your hand? Try to beat back the Ruskies? No, you hightail it to pass the Richard Salvation statue and blast off into space. But there is a limited amount of space. That's why I suggest anyone who wants the safety and security of your own bunker, give now. Call 866-9-SAVE-ME. We'll get you on the payment plan, and if you're paid in full on D-Day, you and your family will be safe. If not, you may have to choose to save yourself and leave the others behind. Hey, 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 stop. The women protest by setting themselves on fire. I tell you, next time the kids are screaming for ice cream and pop, I mm. just douse myself in kerosene. I use that as a threat to my kids all the time, so it's no wonder they're so screwed up. That's one of the tough things about being a mom, not ruining their lives with guilt. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't let my kids watch cartoons or slasher flicks. Really? That Knife After Dark movie may be number one in the box office, but my kids certainly ain't gonna see it. If you don't raise your kids right, they end up being like Nude Boy over there or uh, working in radio. I want them to get proper jobs, like being a doctor, not a patient. That is offensive. My mother understood I was special. She made me wear a bonnet as a child, and when I demanded to go to school naked, she was fine with it. After social services moved me, she would still write to me. I still remember when she kissed me goodbye. Harry, earlier you said you discovered naturism, taking your clothes off, whatever it is in Germany. I know, but I lie a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of personal issues. Look at me. Please, Maurice, I need a hug. There's another example of immorality in this city. Public showing of... want to ravage one another like there's no tomorrow, but you have to ignore what your body is telling you and work for a higher calling, like construction. We're building a statue and we need your help. Call me now. You know, pretty soon you won't be able to tell who's a human and who's an android. Why, the corporation is working on it right now. I know, I read about it. I tell my kids not to kiss other kids at school. It might be an android. Suck your brains out. You must have seen the miniseries event on television. I read it in a book. We've got to stop looking at the stars, all this science fiction, and focus on the family. Now, if you really want to dance like you're on the moon, go there and leave us in peace. And that's a fact. Yeah, uh, what's a fact? I'm sorry, Maurice, but I have to tell you, I... Well, this panel is certainly interesting. The issue is morality. Recently, rock artists joined together to provide famine aid to Alaska with the song... ...people's business like an over-opinionated sociopath. Well, let me say that money could have gone to much better things like reserving a place by my side in the past of Richard Salvation statue. But I digress and plug. Stop doing Don't that. interrupt me, boy. Anywho, I address the Alaska issue in chapter 23 of my book.
wants to eat snow every day. Oh, I tried to help. I sent a helicopter with copies of my book, but they burned them in a pile for heat. If the people of Alaska choose to live there, let them. But don't come crying when you're tired of eating penguin and it snows 18 feet a day. Yes, but don't you think it's important? I think it's very important to listen to me, young man. That's what makes the state of Florida great. Rather than help improve where they are, people nationwide abandon their hometowns, come down here, and shove their beliefs down everyone else's throats. That's the American way, always has been. We should send some pictures of Florida to those people in Alaska. I tell you, they'd throw down that bear pelt, saddle up the sled dogs, and get pulled all the way to Vice City. And I should know, I'm from Mars. No, you're not. Uh, Mars, Alabama. I founded three colleges there. The problem with Alaska is that people don't get naked. If you can't work on your car, or play the cello, or use sharp knives in your birthday suit, then what's the point of living? Uh, well, it is a bit cold there. People put on clothes when it's cold. We evolved without a warm covering of hair. That's a lie, sir. We come from... Need a piece for tonight. What's going on? $10 pledge from Fran in Little Havana. Wow, you think she could have given more than that? Yes, mean bitch. I hope she dies an agonizing death. Absolutely, Michelle. And remember, if you want us to wish you well, dig deep and dig soon. That's right. At any moment, conservatives could vote to end our funding and place a fast food restaurant where our studios are. See, there are some people that think... Tommy, Paolo here, to Paso Amigo. What do you want, Paul? I don't want any fake label clothes. Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I could get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff, mate. I'm packing more weight than you, my son. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I feel I've done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about. <laughs> continent with bland food and soccer riots and arrived in the Americas in the late 15th century, the subject soon turned to morality. You see, Europeans wanted to colonize America, so they had somebody to make fun of. The pilgrims left England for the religious freedom in Holland, where they visited coffee shops, and after they packed up their ships with plenty of coffee, tea, and cakes to liven up the trip, they set sail for the New World, which they heard had a magnificent roller coaster. Once they got here, they were very hungry, having been on a ship for 65 days. So they ate for three days straight. Thanksgiving quickly became an annual custom. America was founded by people who wanted a place where they could tell other people how to live. And I'm a history major. But do we have the right? The question, is it moral to celebrate Thanksgiving, a holiday that is clearly about gluttony, annoying relatives, and awful casserole? Well, I for one love a casserole. And at my weekly meeting, my...